nude descending a staircase. Marcel Duchamp's work is an established classic now, but it was an eye-popping shocker when it was showcased here in New York at the first ever Armory show. The nude was doing what a nude should never be doing. A nude can lie down, do, lie down for its entire existence for all life, but it just can't get up and move. That was more than the American public could handle. Even Theodore Roosevelt, a former president of the United States, came to see the exhibition and he objected to the nude. The show's first edition displayed work from 300 artists from around the world. Among them, Marcel Duchamp, Pablo Picasso and Kandinsky, all pioneers in their field and leaders in abstract art. It really changed the, the game of, of art in America. Um, uh, the art was quite stagnant, quite provincial at the time, and there was an avant-garde that was coming out of Europe that was first presented here. So it was a really a major uh, uh, a turning point just before World War I. This year, more than 200 art dealers and 1,000 artists gathered at the show, but without the shock appeal of a century ago. It seems to me there's a lot more competing mediums now, you know, the, with, with film and the internet again and television, all these, there's all these different visual medias and formats now. And I, I don't think that today uh, a visual artist could work the way they did then or that caused such a sensation. Today, the Armory Show is the largest art fair in New York and one of the most important events in modern art.